to show, this is in the Wix Classic Editor, how to deal with gaps. For example, here we have a section that has some buttons here. However, this little drag icon to resize the section height um, is not working. It doesn't let me, I click on it, nothing happens. I try to pull it up and drag it up, nothing happens. Sometimes that can mean that there's a hidden object somewhere in here, but I was not able to find any of those. If you ever are looking for heading, hidden objects, the layers bar is really helpful, and you can also tap through elements, um, uh, which uh, I've covered in a different blog. I can't remember the fast key right now, but um, you can see if you have any elements here. So if you have this layers bar open, you can look in this section and see what's in here. Ah, there's a line. Now that line is way up here, so that shouldn't be affecting the height, but for whatever reason, it is. I'm not able to deal with um, getting this space smaller. So a workaround to this is to add another section. And I do this a lot with elements, um, or sorry, with, I'm gonna add the section right here. I do this and you can choose blank section. And now I have a new section I could drag these elements into. So I wanna grab that line, my buttons, and this series of social media icons, and we're gonna put them up here. I'm going to move this line because the way we had this was so that it kind of, when her picture's done, it this line begins to differentiate it, the background, in case there's any little bits of color down there. Um, then I'm going to delete this one that wasn't letting me resize it. And then lo and behold, magically, this one is now editable. So if you ever have trouble with a section being stubborn and just not changing size for you for whatever reason, get around it by creating a new one. Just add a new L section by clicking here or an element in general. So if it's a, if it's a button that's acting weird or a, a certain object or a strip and you just can't figure out why it's doing stuff, try adding a new one and then try it again. Or same thing with pages. If you have a whole bunch of problems with a page or it's really buggy, sometimes you can just create a new page and then move some of the elements onto it. Um, to resolve issues. So in Wix and all website, all software programs, sometimes it's good to start from scratch and see if that fixes the issue because occasionally bugs can be, uh, they can get into this layout and, and things will block you from, for example, resizing your, your section. But once I've added a new section, it works fine. So I don't know what caused that other one, but I've deleted that section and now I have a smaller space here, which is what I wanted. I we wanted to remove that giant gap that was appearing here above her footer. So if you ever have questions about Wix, check out picklewix.com. I do lots of tutorials on little things like this that get people hung up to hopefully help people get around problems, uh, especially with when it comes to sizing and spacing issues. Um, there's a lot of little tricks to kind of work around it. So uh, always try that. One other thing to mention is this toolbar. I use this a lot because when you click on an element, it'll tell you the height and you can actually use this to manually resize it. Now, when I use that drag handle and it wouldn't work on the previous section, this wouldn't have worked anyway. I tried it and it's it just was stuck at its height. Um, but once I have my new section that is working better and not buggy, uh, this one is fine. So. Uh, just do these types of things when you run into issues um, or do a Google search or search on my site, picklewix.com. Uh, I put a lot of solutions for little quirky things that you run into in Wix on my blog. So happy Wixin'!